Welcome to the Design in It video learning series. In this tutorial, we'll be working with a multicolored design to create a sweater, tunic length sweater for myself. We'll be using a cat on a fence graphic. This is a, a GIF GIF file, and sometimes the, in this program, it brings up the background transparency in a color that you did not expect. So this should be a white background, but it, it's really uh, green, and we can change this easily. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to exit out of this, pro this section of the program, and we don't need to convert it, but we need, do need to go to Original Pattern Drafting and say File, Thumbnails, Tutorials, Tunic. And I've centralized this piece here. This is the front. It's tunic length, you can see. And I want to say View, Info. And it says it's 170 stitches across at this current tension, which is tension 32 stitches and 40 rows per 10 centimeters, and 305 rows to the top. OK. But we really wanted to know how much it is here, ju just to the neckline, not to the top. So we're going to use our ruler, and we're going to say 0 up to 270. So we have 170 rows this way, and 270 rows this way, available for our design. Now we can go back into Design It Graphics Studio, and we can say File, open up this cat on the fence, and zoom in. A little too far. Okay. Image type needs to be a picture because it's multi in colors. Uh, even though they're block areas of the design, not a photo. The conversion settings is next. It's going to be four colors per row. It's going to have no bird's eye at all. It's going to be blocked as blocks of color. The grid is going to be 170 by 200 rows. We, we said that we had 270 rows available to us, so this is going to work out just fine. We're making this an even number of rows instead of the 179 so that we can get a, a four-color per row jacquard requires even number of rows. OK to continue. So here we have our picture of our cat. We would like to bring up our wool box now. We have no color selected yet. I would like the white color to be selected. I would like to pick up my eyedropper. I would like the black to be selected as a, as a second color. We're going to do this in four color per row jacquard. I would like this brown for shading. We'll put that in as the third color. And the fourth color, we're going to have to zoom in a lot. We want to pick up with our large eyedropper, we want to pick up this brown right here and place it in our colors. We also want to pick up our small eyedropper and pick up this grayish brown and drop it in so these two colors will merge. We want to have this fence here with the eyedropper, pick this up, and we want to put this in with the black so that we'll have black lines here instead. And there's a very light gray here that I'm going to pick up and put in with my white, which is almost white. The last color is we want to get rid of this green. We're going to use the small eyedropper to pick up this green, and we're going to put it in the white column. This is going to give us the very light down here, and it's going to give us the green, and it will convert to the color on the right side of this yarn box. Turn off the eyedropper, and let's say apply. And you can see that this is very close to what we want. So I'm going to close this window. I'm going to say OK to continue. I'm going to save the settings. I'm going to be knitting this on a Silver Reed SK840. It's going to be knit in four color per row jacquard. OK to continue. It's saying there's 91 jacquard errors. We'll fix those in a minute. Here's our four colors. We want to say check jacquard. OK. Here's the 91 errors. Correct them automatically. Yes. 
and now we have a design that's quite close to what we want. We want to go into our palette. I like to add a color to it, maybe a little bit lighter. Apply this color. We want to add another color that's going to be kind of in a brown, light brown. Okay, kind of rustic looking. Okay, now we have six colors, and I'm going to pick up my paintbrush and this color, and I'm going to pour it in so that I have a rustic looking old wood fence. One here. Whoops. Okay, uh, with the black, I'm going to pick up the black pencil and I'm just going to draw, whoops, get rid of the paint bucket, pick up the pencil. I'm going to draw this edge for the face and I'll fix that later, but I just want to have that for now because I can pick up the paint bucket and pour in here and I can get the background so that it's at night. So we've changed this a little bit. We want to say edit. I'm going to cop copy this. I'm going to say file new pattern setup. I'm not going to I'm not going to save this for now. I'm going to set the size from a piece for a sweater that fits me. Let's make it on a tunic length sweater. Okay. We want it for the front. This is the one that we measured that was 170 stitches wide. 270 rows high. The tension is correct. And I want really to have this. Let's take our paint bucket and the blue and let's change this to blue. And we have the design up in the memory of the computer. I'm going to say paste. And I'm going to move this down so it's right on the bottom. Looks good. And you can see the dotted line for the edge of the, of the pattern. Click outside the pattern to set this down. And I've done this and edited all these little edges for the black edges so that it's just perfect. And you can see this because I can say thumbnails. I'm not going to save this because I've already saved it. It's in Karen right here. And I'm going to say cut out this tunic. Let's And this is what it would look like done. I've added some, edited this and added some Z's and things on it. And I'll show you uh, what the final, I'm not going to save this. It's in Karen. I'll show you the final look right here. And this is what it would look like knit. I've added these little Z's by using this ABC and the Z typing in Z and then saying modify turn and turning it 15 degrees or 10 degrees so that they're all kind of spacing different directions. And this is going to be quite cute for a sweater. Thank you.